lot of you guys that are aware of Zerka's existence have probably called him a degenerate and an idiot for who he surrounds himself with and what he does. But little do you know, he does it purposely to keep them figures going up in his bank account, nigga. The true Zerka is more intelligent than any of those mainstream kickstreamers you may watch, and I am still yet to see someone with the amount of esoteric knowledge that this man has. So sit back and enjoy this compilation. Quick intro, my name is John Zerka. I am a CIA informant. Zhtol, the word donated $10. Can you explain chaos magic? Chaos magic is pretty much playing with your subconscious to make your uh, to implement your will onto reality, and it's called chaos because it usually well, it's from a chaos magic uh, movement that turned into kind of like that Crowley thing. But uh, basically, it's called chaos because everyone's doing stuff to get something for themselves so it gets very chaotic and uh the world gets destroyed if everyone knows how to do this but uh the start of it was mostly sigils like mcdonald's the m the m in mcdonald's is a sigil it's a hypercharged sigil and the more attention you bring to symbols the more power they get that's why they do them in um arenas and super bowls and stuff like that it pretty much why everyone wants to be an influencer is because the more attention you can get on something, the more you can charge it with that kind of, uh... Let's go, pal! I'm making a withdrawal here! So here's a billion, billion dollar family dressed up as Baphomet, the hermaphrodite beast. But it's just art. Here's some baby dolls on the dinner table. Because it's just art. I guess this is just art. This freak show. These Phoenician masks is just art. It's for Halloween. It's for Halloween. Yeah. Is this just art? Stanley Kubrick said to this bitch that pedophiles rule the world. And Kubrick didn't mean it's just some perverted people at the top. He meant it's ritualistic. Okay. So women's problem, it's not really the physical plane. The reproductive and growth liquid, the water aura, the circulatory aura, is a huge problem because they don't have their soul in check. They don't have their emotion. To make the right motions. Their astral flame. This. Is smoking up. And they cannot actually think straight. Urgh, I'm so angry. And so the mental plane is not there. For a lot of women. When they're being emotional. Because when women's emotions are in check. They shock you. You know. They do shock you. They're very. A hyper aware of everything happening in the room like you ever walk into a party with a girl and she goes becky wants to fuck you stacy wants to suck your dick and jenna is about to call you a and you go dude how'd you pick up on all that because you know men we don't sense all that she goes trust me and you go okay but which one am i trying to fuck <laughs> help me out <laughs> so now when we look at this there's more black magic happening with billion dollar corporation Balenciaga. And I know what you're thinking. You're like another billionaire into black magic. But John, what about biology and the taxonomy of animals? <laughs> what about regular chemistry class that destiny went to? Isn't that more important than 
black magic. Like, this is just stupid. Why would they waste their time? It's because they're rich. They have nothing better to do. These high functioning, high competitive, always being sued and trying to get murdered by other competitors. These guys clearly have time to waste doing black magic for fun. Or they do it to stay number one, you fucking retard. Now, you guys are probably thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't believe in um, demonic shit. I don't believe in Harry Potter, Zerka. And yeah, I know it's hard to swallow, but... Look at the most powerful people in history. They were never scientists. They always, every without question, they always practiced black magic. Every single one of them. Hitler, black magic. Jack Parsons. Search up occult. So he was killed because uh, they the OTO didn't want people to know that he used black magic to figure out how to design an electro uh, electric uh, no, um, the wiring to uh, make a rocket and all that. Uh, the guy's a fucking genius because he's talking to the same gods that gave Plato gnosis. Right? He's biting from the apple. Again, it, this is a lack of faith in your creator when you need to make demonic packs. And let's look at Alistair Crowley, which is a 33 degree Freemason. That's interesting. What the fuck does Freemasonry have to do with witchcraft? And as you can see, Crowley's first homosexual experience, it popped up. Clearly, I'm interested. And look how he signed his signature. Baphomet. With the Masonic Baphomet sigil. Again, he has a twin-headed eagle, which represents the yin-yang, solar, lunar, dark, light. Uh, basically, the wizard's tools. And they, they like to pretend this is like a free will thing. How much have you compromised in this liberal world? Did, uh, did you guys, well, let's just call it how it is. For thousands of years, men have been 20 times more horny than women. But for the first time in history this year, women are closing the gap on cheating and they're cheating on their partners as much as men who are 20 times more likely to fail. If that's not end times to you, I don't know what is. We have all sacrificed virgin wives to live in this cope world. We have sacrificed everything. But you want to smile and say, I've got a nice PC set up and uh, my life's great. Your life sucks because of this enlightenment faggotry that has spread through the West. Malcolm X Ultra donated $11. Was Malcolm X the only leader with intellectual influence that Jake queued? Uh, no. Uh, J I know JFK JQ'd. Malcolm X, the way he JQ'd was so intelligent too. It wasn't like up in your face. It was... The, the Negro male is being systematically shut down by the Jewish leader. And uh, so was, I'm surprised they even took him out like that. But this is a picture of Satan summoning up his legions, right? And this is Damon. See the spikes? Fertility goddess of Mithra, they say. But Satan summoning his legions. Satan is the adversary. Most Americans are so fluoride filled and stupid that they go their whole lives not knowing who the fuck the Statue of Liberty is based on. The light bringer, bringer of liberté. 
Who is the light bringer? In this, it's remember it. It's it's not the land America, the land of the free. It's the land of the Freemasons, and they're not secular. This isn't an attack on God with the blade of avarice and atheism. This is demon worship. This is Luciferian. That's Apollo, the light bearer. Whether Horus, Ra, Osiris, the setting clock sun. It's just different times in the day, but it's always the solar deity. Like most of, most of Kabbalah, what it is, is just like masonry, a lot of it is understanding God or the structures of God will be like, um, there's one structure of severity and one structure of mercy. And how can God be full merciful and full just and bring divine justice? These are two pillars. And usually you re reconcile the opposites and go, the, you reconcile the opposites and go through the middle pillar to God, to the thought forms of God. Um, which is, uh, if you, just like in Magic Manny P. Hall's book, if you're too based on energy and motion and motion, you spin the fuck out and you're luciferic and you burn out. But if you are too cold, then you're satanic and you crystallize. Like businessmen crystallize in the material world with no spirit. And then there's people who are so consumed with spirit, the ISIS, you know, like they go, they, their psyche can't handle it and they burn out through emotion and you want to reconcile these opposites. And that's like a quick understanding of middle pillar in Kabbalah. But uh, the Zohar is a form of witchcraft. Kabbalah is more of like a thinking process. And uh, you guys got to remember that the Jews were the original good people on earth. Now they're fucking evil because they're very different people, different blood. They're Canaanites. Let's be spam Jew Canaanites in my chat if, if I'm spizzing. But the original, why Jews were God's chosen people, it's not like this direct feeling of being chosen by God. It's the first people who did not worship idols. They said one God. They didn't have many and archetypes and all this other phenomena. They said one, and that honored God, right? But then they started sacrificing to Moloch, and and people are like, well, that's not Jews. No, it is. It is. Okay, it is. The original, the start of fucking mankind... At the start of mankind, they are the first people to s not worship demons. And then, these this top group of Jews got subverted. Babylonians, Canaanites, serpent worshipping Ophites, you name it. You know, all these clans mixed up. Khazarians, uh, all these guys mix up into the top of the pyramid. And then they start selling God, one God, to everyone. And everyone loves it. Everyone loves it. And we're done with the pagan archetypes, right? We're done with the Eros and the Aphrodites and Hermaphrodite, which are really just Jungian archetypes, if you think about it. And now that these guys are selling one God to the world, the world is buying. But who is selling it? It's the fucking infiltrators. And the infiltrators have babies. So we don't even know where the fuck... The Jewish bloodline is anymore. But the infiltrators, they worship the star. Fuentes 2036 